guys. Um, Sharks for Lack of Bay reporting live from CES 2013. We're here at Pepcom Digital Experience, kind of a little bit of an exclusive <laughs> event. We're trying hard to avoid the open bar, and we're having a first hands-on look at the Sony Xperia Z, or Z if you're in the States. <laughs> anyway, Isa's going to take you through it. She knows it a little bit better than me, so let, let us know about this new smartphone. Sure, so. since I am from the States, I do call it the Xperia Z. Yeah. Um, so this here is actually uh, one of the devices we announced here at CES. The Xperia Z is known uh, to be a premium device made by Sony, and we like to highlight four key elements about the best of Sony you'll find in a smartphone. I'd actually like to lead with design. Xperia Z is actually uh, features what we call an omni-balance design. So when you actually notice the size of the design, it's a skeleton, skeleton frame. And when it comes to omni-balance design, you'll actually notice as we take a, look, a 360 look of the device itself, you see all the parallel lines the smooth round edges, which basically make the device very beautiful. We also talk about the precision craftsmanship of the device when we talk about the uh, design aspect. You'll notice here is the power button. It's very prominent, very beautiful, very easy to see, and actually when held in your hand, it's in the right place. So that's the elements when we talk about design. Uh, in terms of the best of Sony in a smartphone. Then we'll go into the display aspect. So what you see here in terms of the display, obviously it's a large display. It's a five inch display that utilizes Mobile Bravia Engine 2 technology. What Mobile Bravia Engine 2 technology will do is it will basically uh, utilize Sony intelligence and kind of identify the type of environment that you're in and really enhance what you're viewing in terms of whether you're viewing photos or videos um, and just really makes those images nice and clear. So that's the, the display aspect, just kind of a, another informational piece. It's pretty smooth and fast because it is a quad-core processor, so 1.5 gigahertz uh, Snapdragon S4 Pro processor. So again, very fast and very smooth. And now let's talk about the camera. So I'm going to turn it over here. And actually here, uh, the primary camera is a 13 megapixel camera. Uh, the camera actually utilizes, again, another great piece of Sony technology. It's the Exmor RS image sensor. So the Exmor RS image sensor, uh, actually one of the really great benefits of it, will allow, it allows you to utilize, or take rather, HDR photos and videos. It is actually one of, uh, one of the first uh, mobile devices that enables you to do HDR videos. And when you take HDR videos, it actually does it in real time. So there's really no delay once you take the shot and then, or take a video and then uh, try to watch it right away. Um, and what Superior Auto Mode will allow you to do is, again, another piece of you know, intelligence in the phone. Depending on what you're looking at, so as you see, I'm moving it around. It actually knows that there's motion going on. If I'm pointing at things that has small text, it'll notice that there's macro settings. If there's all white, it'll, no it'll notice that there's text. So it always, it'll always change. If I'm actually um, kind of showing a person, we're gonna see if we can get you here. A face. Oh, he moved too quickly, but it also do a, they'll do a little face for like self-portrait. So again, it's something where it's automated, so the user won't have to, or the, um, you know, yeah, the user uh, won't have to manually change the modes themselves. And then the last piece really is uh, the NFC portion. So I am actually going to utilize this is uh, one of our NFC headsets. So when I tap, it gives me a slight vibration. It's double confirming that it wants to pair to a Bluetooth device. It tells me I'm pairing, and it'll basically tell me that it's all set to good to go. So once it's done, you can listen to your music on the NFC device. The Xperia Z is actually water resistant. So the ZL is not. So if I were to put both phones in this thing here, which I will not do with the ZL, yep. but I can easily put in the Z on there, you can still pull Booty it out. It's a long time to get your phone back, eh? Yeah, you can still pull it out. Okay. And wonderful. And it still works. Awesome. On the door here, it yep. has a M micro SD slot card, exactly. and that actually also goes for the ZL as well. Exactly. So it's a 16 gigs of internal memory plus the micro SD expansion slot. And let's not forget, uh, obviously, obviously uh, features 9.8 millimeters of thickness. Yes. And we're looking at a 2300 milliamp battery on the inside, which makes it larger than a lot of its counterparts at its size. Mm -hmm. um, and then actually speaking of battery, because in addition to a great size battery, both devices have uh, built-in, again, intelligence in terms of uh, 
battery management. So what we have here is, uh, let me just quickly, we have what's called battery stamina mode. What battery stamina mode is known for is it can actually increase your standby time for up to four times when you turn it on at its default. Really? So yeah. as you see, when uh, it's off right now, two days, 15 hours. It's just letting me know what I'm yeah. doing. Okay. Four days, 11 hours. So when I say at its default, that's basically it slows when. Down. Well, it's not. It's when you do not select other applications to run. Because yes. what happens with battery stamina mode is when you turn off the uh, screen. Yes. So basically, I think they're saying uh, most users will turn off their screen 90% of the time. Yes. Uh, it will deactivate any erroneous things that are going on in the background, and I that's see. how it's able to keep that standby mode. There are uh, abilities in power in battery stamina mode that allow you to whitelist certain applications. So once you make those customizations, you know then the, the standby time changes. But it is still a uh, pretty um, pretty neat uh, in terms of battery management. All right, well, that's a pretty thorough uh, first look <laughs> at what is likely to be Sony's flagship device for 2013. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys can price it aggressively. We've heard that it's going to be released rather quickly on the international market towards the end of January, hopefully yes. early February. Mm -hmm. And obviously we're looking, th they do claim in the documentation provided that there will be an LTE variant as well. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to getting one of these in our labs and having a closer look and reviewing it. Great, well thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much. All right guys, Android Authority reporting live here from CS 2013.